Okay, so hi guys, this is Lollipop and welcome back to another episode of the Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge. So today we are back and Kelsey is in a super good mood, which obviously we love because it makes our job a hell of a lot easier. So in the last episode, you guys said that you did actually want us to move into the new house. So I've done the preparations that were necessary in order to get us moved into that new house. Um, the only thing we've got to do now is sell our, sell our old house, go ahead and pay off the rest of the credit that we had um, already running, which I think we've already got enough right now to pay off. Um, and then go ahead and take out a new loan for the new house. And other than that, we are completely finished and ready to move into the new house today, which I am super, super excited about. So, um, right, first things first, Kelsey needs to pay off her debt, which currently she owes 35,000 simoleons. So we'll go ahead and uh, make sure we get that paid off. She's also got some dragon fruit and stuff in her inventory and obviously we have a lot of things that are worth a lot of money in our inventory. So I will make sure um, that I sell everything in her inventory because obviously we're going to have more harvestables coming in soon, which is great. So she went ahead and paid all of that off. We love that. Perfect. Awesome. Amazing. Um... Okay, so next up, we need to find out how much the house is worth. So the new house, after all the renovations, is worth 230000 So we're going to need that amount. So right now we have 100000 wrapped up in this house, but obviously we're going to need more than that. So I think I'm going to take out around £175,000 loan, roughly. And then obviously she can just gradually pay that back. And if she doesn't get it paid off, then her next generation, so her daughter, can pay it off as well. So, um... I'm now realizing I I got rid of her um, laptop, so she can't even do that. So looks like we're actually going to have to go ahead to the library or unless I put a, um, I'm not sure if I put a bank in this world. We'll have to go and have a look, shall we? So Okay, so we just arrived. So let's have her head on inside and go ahead and uh we'll have her go ahead and go and take out that loan so the first loan that we're taking out is a hundred thousand pounds which we can't actually t is that because we took out a loan of a hundred thousand pounds before is that the way it works um mm, okay this might not work as planned which is going to be really annoying um uh, okay so apply for credit so take out the fifty thousand okay right I posted to the pen pal forums. Well, I didn't really ask you to do that, but okay, sure. Do your thing. That's fine. This this toy can actually be sold as well. Okay, there we go. So we took out some more credit. Um. Okay, what else have we got? We've got a little bit more to so take out 25,000. There we go. So we've got 100,000 pound wrapped up in the house. And then we need at least another 125,000, which we're not, we're not actually going to make up, even with all of these loans that we can take out. So, um, I'll take out all the loans that we can actually um, do that are available to us because I think, because we've already taken a £100,000 loan before, you can't take that again. Even though we've already paid it off, you know. Okay, so we're back. So, let's go and pop everything in our inventory that we're actually going to need and then we can just go ahead and like sell the house. So, we're going to want our table, of course. We're also going to want all of our pictures with our mans. Make sure we pick all of those up. We want the bakery machine that she's got. We also want the bees. We want all of our plants. I don't want to leave any of those. Okay, so we also need the magic bin. And I'm pretty sure that is it. Now that I've grabbed everything from outside. Um, and then downstairs in the children's bedrooms. Uh, there isn't anything really that we particularly need in here. Um, and again, in here, we haven't really got anything. I would like to take the kids' um, artwork that they've made, just because it's kind of, like, special to me, you know? So I want to take those. Um, and that is it. Uh, all the children's stuff can be sold. Yeah, okay, so we, okay, we've done it all. So if we um, go ahead and actually bulldoze the lot, um, we will get our money that we need. Okay, let me just save just before. Hold on. Let me let me do this. I don't want to mess anything up, you know. Okay, so we go ahead and sell everything on the lot. 184,000 simoleons. Okay, so that's how much we've been left with after 
we took everything out that we wanted. There's nothing in here that, um, that we particularly really don't want on us, right? Okay, so 184,000. So we need to go and make sure that the house that we're going to move into is not going to be over 184,000 simoleons. So we're in Mas Maristella, and then we're at this house. So right now it's 224. I think it's at 180, so we need to, like, drop uh, 40,000 simoleons, which isn't too bad, but considering I'm pretty sure the pool makes up most of that. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the pool. It's going to look really weird without having the pool over here, but um, it's just, it's going to happen, you know. Uh, might also get rid of this because that's like 2,000 just for that thing, which I'll go ahead and replace it. So this was the pool that I built. Isn't it so cute? Honestly, I'm definitely going to place it back, but it's a lot. Okay, I think we, I think we are ready. I'll have to go ahead and add in the pool and everything because it, look, it looks a bit strange just having like this random area back here. Um, but we've got everything and obviously I can't get rid of anything from the greenhouse because I'm going to need everything. But yeah, in terms of the renovations, you guys um, didn't see them. So I added in a few more um, a few more beds because obviously we need more beds for the children. We needed more beds for the toddlers and also more beds for the, um, ch uh, for the children as well. So I added in an extra bed over there because that is the children's room. And then I also redecorated... Um, uh, Kelsey's bedroom to have it be a little bit cuter and a bit more like my style. I also redone the nursery so that our babies have got somewhere cute to stay. Um, and that was it. I added in like the necessities basically. So we're all good. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and jump right into the other world and let's go ahead and get moved. Okay, so here we are. We're at Amber's Modern Ranch. Oh my god, I'm actually so excited to get fully moved in so this is the new house oh my god it's so weird like actually being here and like thinking that this is actually our house it's crazy what we have managed to do um but i tell you what let me go and like get everything put in place and um, because i don't want to you know waste your guys time um so let me go and like get everything sorted and put all the garden in place and then i'll go ahead and meet you guys once i've um finished getting everything renovated Okay, so I am finished uh, doing, you know, the house and the bits that I needed to do to it. So um, I think everybody's already making their way in. Um, how is everybody doing? Kelsey's already making her way in with one of the babies. I think they're a little bit hungry, so I think she's going to go grab them some food. She's such a good mum, isn't she? Um, so basically, yeah, I placed in everything that needed to be in. I also extended the garden around the back because we didn't have enough room um, for all of our seasonal plants, like uh, the plants that are currently in season. There's loads of extra room in this greenhouse, but obviously um, that'll be for, you know, stuff when we actually, you know, get more things. Um, that is the idea for that. Um, we also went ahead and built in a quick little basement. It's nothing, you know, grand. It's mainly just so Kelsey can um, go downstairs and do her, you know, cupcakes and her pastries away from everyone so she can have a bit of a relaxation in the basement by herself, which is good. And then it just comes up um, just here so she can quickly get down to it directly from the kitchen. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that is everything. So we're all good in the hood. So... Um, little Boo, he has just finished eating, um, but he now needs a bath. So let's go and have him. I just realized, um, there is no bath. Um, <laughs> would, you, would you just imagine that? Um, okay, so one of these bathrooms needs to be, um, a room with a, uh, bath and shower in them. Okay, so we've got some baths over there. We can now go ahead and bathe our children, which is grand. So you, baby, are gonna need a bath first. So let's go and give you a bubble bath. Um, and then I think Leighton needs a bath. Uh, Elijah needs uh, a lot of things in life. She is hungry. Okay, so next up, let's sort out Leighton. And I'll go and have Danielle go and actually sort him out. And give him a bubble bath. And then next up is you. You're actually potty trained already. So you can use the potty. However, I don't think there is a potty. Okay, yeah, that, that, that should do. Two potties is more than enough okay so you can come use the potty for me we also oh my god i'm actually freaking out we also need a thermostat because my poor like little kids are dying um of heat exhaustion because obviously it's so hot in maristella especially since we're like peak summer right now so um i'm gonna go ahead and quickly buy one of those put that on the wall just here and then i'll have kelsey i think kelsey yeah will be out first she can go and actually um, put the thermostat on cooler because we are currently having a heat wave and poor little people need to get themselves sorted out. Okay, so 
Uh, Kalani, she's hungry, so I can go and gr grab her some food. I'll go ahead and grab her some eclairs. She can go and grab those. Um, and then uh, you are using your nappy. That's really annoying. Okay, Danielle, wasn't you giving your brother a bath? Uh, you definitely was supposed to be giving him a bath, but apparently you didn't. Um, okay, next up is skill building time. So let's have them all go and grab a tablet and start working on some skills that they need. How about we work on imagination with you? You are hungry and then you're going to go with your sister. That's fine. Elijah, he's coming to grab some food. Uh, Kalani, she's eating food. And then you are up next. Okay, you're... You're a tad hungry. Realistically, we should have some actual meals made. So I tell you what, how about we go cook um, a few grand meals. Let's go cook up some tofurkey. Let's go and make um, two tofurkey dinners so we've got some food in the fridge to like suffice everyone for a little while. Okay, you're making those for me. Good. Okay, Kelsey's doing really, really well. Okay, I'm happy with how everything's going and I'm really excited to see how the house turns out as well. Like whether it's whether it's a good idea to obviously get everybody moved. Kelsey should be having her babies in this episode or the next episode, which is really cool as well. So I'm really excited to see how that goes. Um, okay, little girl. So you guys have already got your skills up, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you was the only one at a B and you've already got your skill up. So as soon as you go to school tomorrow, um, you can get aged up. So you guys are all fine. It's just, just uh, everyone else, basically. So I think we're just playing the waiting game for the weekend anyways. Look at her. She's actually so good at everything. Uh, oh my God, I can't wait to get the pool back in so we can go for a, a nice little dip. How is my garden doing? My garden's doing grand. Right, go and get the food sorted out and then we can look after all the toddlers. Um, and then we can start, you know, doing the bake sale and all that, all that dandy stuff. Is there anything in the inventory of that? No, it isn't. Okay, right, that's fine. And looks like somebody is already playing over in the little uh, room that we've got made, like the child's play area, which is really cool because at least I know it's actually being used and it's not just like a waste of time me actually putting it in, which is always good to know. Um, okay, so you're eating your food. You, you're you just getting a bit tired. So other than that, you're perfectly fine. How about you go tidy up? I tell you what, does the maid come over to the new house or am I going to need to call her again it says that the maid service or is already continuing so i'm assuming it's going to continue please hurry up with the food we're all hungry come on go 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 why does his hair always change now his hair's pink what happened um i literally have no idea what just happened to her or to him sorry okay right let's go and quickly potty train uh layton because he needs to go with poo -poos really quick there we go and little sister just standing by her. There we go. Want to check out the crazy ruins? I'm sorry. I only go out for mans. <laughs> that doesn't work for me. Okay. This is such a cute little thing here. I tell you what. I need to turn the auto lights on. And okay. The the thermal um, or the air conditioning's on as well. So people shouldn't be freaking out about it being so hot anymore. We shouldn't have like kids like crying about it. Okay. He's nearly finished going to poop. Good. Awesome. We love that. Elijah. He's doing well. Okay, Kalani, I think she's heading off to go use her potty and then, then she's done. Wait, where's she going? I hate the fact that the toddlers take forever to get anywhere and they walk over and they go put their plate up somewhere like really inconvenient. Like, I know you can reach up on there. You pull it off of there. How can you not put it back up there? It's just such a lie. Such a lie. Why are you taking another piece? Eat tofu. You've literally just eaten dinner. Like, what are you doing? You're going to overeat. Okay, go throw that away. Let me go and put the food away. Okay, you can go listen to the radio and, you know, get your fun up and stuff like that. Okay, you guys. You're right. I just want to make sure all the kids are, like, done so that I don't have to worry about them. Um, Are you going to put your brother to bed? Yeah, you are. We love that. Okay, right. Looks like you're being pushed over to that bed because your brother's in that one. Um, Are you going to go to bed or not? Okay, right. You, you're, you're completely done now. So you need to um, use the potty. So how about we ask for your sister's help? Um, then he's gonna need a bath, and then he can go to bed. Who's fainting? Did you really get out of bed to go and faint? Like I literally just put you in bed, and then you just got. Why? 
Why have you done this to me? Just get up and go to the toilet. Look at her just sitting here going to poop. Good for you, girl. I hope you I hope you finally managed to do it. Okay, you're having a little bit of fun. It would be nice if there was like an easier way to get fun. Um, I wonder if she finds yoga fun. I mean, realistically, I should probably go outside and do a little bit of yoga, you know? Um, okay, let, let's go. Let's go do that. Hopefully she finds that a little bit fun because she hasn't done a yoga today because we've been so, so busy with the move. It's actually been such a hassle. But now that we've like moved in the house, I'm really happy we haven't got to do it again. Um, and this is probably going to be the house that Kelsey unfortunately dies in, which is like so sad to think of. But literally, it's, you know, it's just the way, the way it's going to be, unfortunately. So yeah, I'm really... Really sad about that. I'm really excited to see what these babies look like. I mean, to be honest, I would love for Kalani to be um to be the next like baby, like to be the next generation. Because Kelsey's only got so much time left. I mean, if we look at her um look at her like thing, she's got 22 days left of being a adult, and then as soon as she turns to a um elder, we have to choose the eldest um the eldest born daughter um in the household so yeah that is gonna be that's gonna be next up it looks like something needed to be evolved good what have we got we've got a excellent quality pear tree good job honey good job um i think also these need um weeding as well so once she's done a bit of her yoga i'm gonna go have her go and water everything and go and weed it just to make sure that nothing dies um and then also let's look after the bees we will go and bond with them um collect the swarm and do those bits okay right you are finally managing to sit down your brother needed um needed a bath so let's quickly go and do that before you go to bed awesome okay right um i'm gonna let her like do this a little bit it's kind of late though she's gonna get tired so i have her stop um because she's gonna need to do she's gonna need to do her gardening stuff so how long are we expecting until she has her babies uh, third trimester in three hours. Is it just me or does she look huge? I mean, I'm expecting it to be at least twins or triplets this time because um, she actually... Um, we actually got her the fertility treatment, um, you know, reward reward aspect. So it definitely should be twins and hopefully it will be triplets because obviously the, the more triplets we have, the quicker we'll get through this. So I'm really looking forward to that as well. I also think we need to add some bird seed um, so that we can feed our birds as well. These ones definitely need to be watered, but she actually needs to go pee so badly that it doesn't even matter to her anymore. So she's literally like sprinting back into the house. Um, so go use the toilet before you wet yourself. Oh, she made it. Thank God. Okay, right, and then come back out and finish watering the plants because I don't want them to die. Okay, that's not that's not the idea. That's not the goal. They're our biggest money makers, um, and we definitely need the money from them in uh, in the next you know portion that we've got going on. So once the bomb with the bees, she's off to bed, which is good. Um, your sister's also aging up tomorrow, so there'll be enough room in that room as well. Um, Kalani and Elijah are aging up tomorrow. And Kelsey should be having a baby all in this episode. Damn, this is the busiest episode I think we've had in such a long time. Um, oh no, she's passed out. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I need you to go and water these plants and then I'll let you go to sleep, I swear. I'm so sorry, Kelsey. Please wake up. Please wake up. Just, you got to last long enough, okay? There we go. Okay, we're back to our original amount of money. Because the mans are trying to play us child support and obviously because this is a challenge We are not allowed to accept any money from anyone. Not that money is even an issue right now because we're all good in the money department, so Okay, you are up. Um, so you can go and get yourself ready for school. Go ahead and grab some leftovers Looks like the sprinklers are actually working. The only thing that I was worried about is if they wouldn't reach the plants So I tell you what I actually want to go ahead and buy the sprinklers um by the sprinklers to go over here so that we don't have to worry about watering these either. There we go. Okay, so I placed it all around here. So if this does work, the only plants that are gonna need watering are the ones in the greenhouse. And um, what's going on with these plants? Do they look dying? Do they look like they're dying to you? They definitely look like they're dying. Okay, girl, quickly come out here. Wait, she, she hasn't even been a, she hasn't even been asleep. Why is she not getting any sleep? Or is she, or, or she just not been in bed long enough? What is she doing? So it looks like you guys are actually off to school, which means, Danielle, it is your turn to wake up. Um, I'm actually going to go have her work hard at school today, just to make sure that she definitely still gets her promotion. 
Um, or like her, you know, her like level up in school because she needs to get an A. So gonna have her go and do that. You guys can study hard as well whilst we're there. And she's off. Okay, perfect. Go ahead and study hard for me. Awesome. Okay, we have bills. How much? 8,000 smolians. Okay, that's not too bad. Like, that's a good amount because before we were making so much money and it like, it just, it wasn't, you know, suiting. Uh, and now it's like a super good amount. So I'm really happy with how it's turning out now. Oh, awesome. Kalani got her skill up as well. That is amazing. Okay, right. Is any other babies like hungry? Kalani's a little bit hungry. Awesome girl. Congratulations. They're now both ready to get aged up. So I'm really excited for that. Okay, girl's awake. I think she actually just wet herself. Oh no, that's so embarrassing. Hopefully the maid will clean that up. Go and take a quick shower, girl. Go and take a quick shower and then... Oh no, look, she's complaining. She's complaining. You're the maid and you literally are just complaining about the fact that I just wet myself and that you've got to clean it up. Do you know how rude that is? I actually might go ahead and like fire this woman and tell like say that I want another one. Um, Just because she's been so rude. I mean, like she does a good job. But that was really rude, am I right? Oh, I don't know. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and keep her. You know, I'll give her one more chance. But next time, don't complain about my piddle, okay? I'm a pregnant woman. I can't, I don't have all the control over my, you know, bowels and my, and my bladder. You can't, you can't expect that of me, okay? Don't, don't be so rude. Go back to sleep, hon, okay? Just don't, don't even worry about her. She's fine. Okay, right. Everyone is all good. I think the maid is coming to tidy up. It's so, so useful having the maid come and clean up, honestly. Like, I know it costs a fair bit, a bit of money, um, but realistically, we need it. With the amount of people that we've got in our house, we cannot afford not to have somebody come and tidy our house up, realistically. Look how cute this is. I love it how wholesome, like, all the toddlers just sitting in here and, like, enjoying themselves, enjoying each other's company. I love the fact that our series is, like, a really, like, close bonded one. Um, it really makes me happy, like, the way that that works. Um, I actually need to go ahead and work on the toddlers skills um, like the other toddlers So I'm gonna go have them work on their thinking skill is up next So we'll do that one and then Layton needs to work on his imagination skill So we'll have him go and work on that one next. There we go. So we'll get their skills up really fast um, And then you guys are ready to be aged up as soon as your mom wakes up Okay, right, you guys are good. You're working on your skills. Mum is growing some food and then she's going to start making that cake for you guys to get aged up. And looks like you have returned from school. Grades are up. I swear to God, if you still have a B. Oh, no, because she was so tired today. She didn't get past the B, so we, we can't even age up Danielle today, which is so annoying. It means we have to wait till tomorrow. Okay, fine. Let me send her back to bed. But the other kids are ready to age up. So Luna and um, Luna and Faith are both ready to age up. So they're already they're already on the checklist. So Mum is going to make up that carrot cake, and we're going to share it for everyone's like birthdays, as long as it doesn't get eaten, of course. So quickly eat your food and then start making that uh, cake. Okay, Kalani is aging up. Congratulations, girl! Congratulations. This is what she looks like. We won't really get a chance to see her until the next episode, but obviously at the start of the next episode, we'll see her in there. She's looking super, super cute. We'll have to give her a bit of a makeover. Um, So she didn't even make it to the toilet again. Oh my God. Holy crap. Again? I'm so sorry. Okay, right. She doesn't have a blood infection anymore. Okay, well, that's good. Hopefully it won't, it won't go down as quick. That was just such a big bug in, you know, in mods. Anyways, that's, that's what you get for using mods in 100 Baby Challenge. For some reason, these are always on. These shouldn't always be on. Right? These shouldn't always be on. Let me go and turn them off. I feel like, I feel like they should be off now. Like the plants are watered, you know? Um, they can have a break. The same as these ones. The plants can have a break. Oh, we just saw the, like the tree pop up right in front of us. Look at them all in season. I'm so excited to see what they look like. So this is like the tree section that we've got over here as well. Okay, right. She's having a shower. Then we can get the next baby aged up. Oh my god, what a, what a busy day today. Let's go and get... Um, next up is Elijah. So let's go help blow out candles. Elijah is next. And there we go. Let's go and grab him. Get him aged up. There we go. Next up on the agenda... 
Okay, Kalani, you're good. You can start actually working on your homework since you just came into this world and that's what we that's what we do in this house, okay? We we take no breaks, we take no prisoners. Yes, no. <laughs> okay, right, let's go and get him aged up. Yeah, he's definitely <laughs> blowing even with a dummy in his mouth. How cute. <laughs> okay, right, let's go and get him aged up. There we go. And this is what Elijah's looking like. Holy crap, he has like flame red hair. That isn't gonna stay, but in terms of what he looks like, he's looking really really cute so far I'm, I'm really happy with how he looks okay here she goes let's see what she looks like blow out those candles good job girl here we go what does she look like let me see her face she looks really cute so far who um who is she i mean don't make that stank face literally i'm like oh she looks so cute so far what are you doing stop making that face okay so her um dad was uh ending in mcnee okay right well that's all i know okay faith it's your turn let's go and add some birthday candles and get you aged up next as well let's go add those candles and then you can get aged up with your sister let's go and taste the frosting and her sister's there congratulating her that's so cute oh my god go ahead and blow that out and that's her mum singing for her as well Congratulations, Faith. Here we go. And Faith has uh, aged up with yellow hair. And guys, they look so similar. Like when they age up, they as teenagers, they both look really, really similar. Um, but they're not actually identical. So I think we'd already established that a little while ago. So everyone is gonna need to make makeover in the start of next episode, but I honestly haven't got enough time to do it right now. So that's gonna have to come up at another time. Um, but it looks like Kelsey wants to... Oh, I keep, like, like losing my voice. Um, Kelsey wants to have a little bit of fun. So I'm wondering what she could do. Um, I mean, you know what is fun? Watering the garden. <laughs> no. Um, okay, right. Come out here. Not able to... That, see, that's so weird. Not able to do this while pregnant, but she maybe she just can't do it in her third trimester. Maybe that's how it works. Well, oh my god, Kelsey's going into labour. Awesome. Thank god. Okay, right, we're off. We're off to go to the hospital. Because I want to get her um all of her like stuff up. So we'll join her and we'll have her go by herself because she's a single independent woman. Okay, right, let's go. Um haven't we had a baby with Travis? Oh, we actually haven't, which is weird. Um, I need to go ahead and put your guys' sims in the world before the next episode so that we've got her um some of your guys' sims to get pregnant with. I think this woman's actually gone into labour as well, maybe, because she's standing here, but she doesn't seem to be going through it as much as us. Maybe she's not, I don't know. Maybe she's just here and she's just pregnant. Right, okay, let's go get ourselves stuck on that gurney, see what babies we're having. I'm super excited to have a look. Who is our doctor today? We've got a new doctor called Mary, um, or Mary Ortega. Wait, this is our... um. We've been with her dad, basically. Um, so that I, I don't know if that would count as our stepchild. Is that how it would work? Because obviously we're not with her dad. I don't know. Basically, we had a baby with her dad. Um, so they share a half-sibling uh, relationship there in some way. I don't know. Who, who was the Ortegas? Um, I think the Ortegas were an older generation. Oh, like a previous generation that we had before. Okay, let's go and see what we're having. It's a boy. Okay, the first one is a boy. Awesome. Wait, I don't remember which which man we had a baby with. I don't remember. I'll have to find out what his last name is. Okay, right. So for some boy names. Um, okay, so um, on the last episode, Ava Pardy went ahead and suggested some names. Um, so the first boy name that she, sh or she suggested a few boy names, um, but for this one, I did actually really like Harley. Um, so it is spelled like that. I'm going to leave him as a Hartman because I can't remember what his dad's last name is, and I'll go ahead and change it when they age up. So make sure you guys remind me uh, when they age up to toddlers. So if we have another one. It's a girl. Okay, awesome. So for some girl names. Okay, so um, Steph VH went ahead and suggested a few girls names um so she has a few on here that i like but i really like stephanie um we haven't actually used the name like that just yet so i'm liking that name stephanie there we go 
Oh, okay, it was only twins, okay, because I was hoping that it was going to be triplets, because we haven't even had triplets in this game just yet, but it was, it was only, it was only twins, you know, so it's not, it's not too bad, you know, we're, we're not sad about it at all, but the, you know, the babies are fine, so thank you guys so much for your name suggestions, um, but let's go ahead and get Kelsey home and start looking after these babies and put them in the nursery that we've just built, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay, so we just arrived at home and looks like the babies are actually crying. So I'm going to go have her do some efficient baby care for them and just go and quickly look after them. Um, she's in a really good mood since she got back as well, but she's actually going to need to go to sleep. So I don't think we're going to get the chance to go and do the bakes out in this episode just because we were so busy getting everything else done. Um, so we'll have to make sure that we go ahead and get that done in the next episode. But honestly, we were so busy um, this episode that, you know, like, we didn't even have enough time to get everything sorted. So I can completely understand as to why, you know, um, not, you know, not everything got done. But all in all, we got, like, four different children aged up. And we also had her have a baby. And we also done the move all in one episode. So honestly, it's been such a hectic episode. But we've got a lot, a lot done. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. So I'm going to have Kelsey go ahead and um, get herself ready, go and grab herself some food and actually head to bed because she's feeling pretty tired. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and actually get this episode ended off here. So as always, if you guys enjoy, go ahead and leave a like on the video. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll get around to them as soon as I can. And if you are new, it'd be awesome if you could subscribe because obviously it helps our little family grow. And if you just want to hit the little notification bell next to the subscribe button, you get notified every single time I upload, which means you never waste my uploads. And yeah, I think that is everything. So as always, I love you all and I'll speak to the next episode. Bye guys. I choke you down just like